Hi everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. Well tonight I'm really pleased that we have got Marion Frost back in the kitchen and you know how much I love it when she's here and she's had a nice little lesson on how to go slow. <laughs> Because I've never seen a woman work as fast as Marion does. It's like, like oh. So we've had a little bit of a training session. We're going to take it nice and easy. Now, lots of you have seen um, Marion's um, cutters um, on the Sugar and Crumbs page. We've She's been doing lives for, I don't know, about five years yeah. since we've been doing them, haven't we, yeah. from the beginning, yeah. 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 And then Tracy Mann uses some of the cutters and she's been showing you how to do uh, cocoa butter painting. Yeah. And tonight, I've asked Marion to come in and show you how to make an advent calendar, okay? So she's going to use a few of her sets and um, I'm really looking forward to it and I've got to be honest I've been quite fascinated at a few things and uh, Dimbo here asked a few questions said how did you do that but when you know it's you easy. know it's easy <laughs> when you don't know it's, it's quite clever isn't it it's it like is. how do you do that yeah. anyhow just as we were going live she said can I use this on here <laughs> uh, and Rob said we found him on <laughs> you can't let me get you out of cutting board okay so <laughs> Right, so I'm going to leave Marion to get on with it. The wish list is up. Um, it, pop into the website sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, go to FB Live, drop down into November, and everything for Marion is on there as well. And we're going to have an exciting night, aren't we? It's what? Eh? Okay. What did you say? So I'm going to have an exciting night. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I think she might, actually, I think she might be waiting for me to hug because I said, are we allowed to hug each other anymore now? So I said, she give me a hug. But yeah. you know what? We can, can't we? Yeah, we can. Mm. Good, we can. We can. <laughs> That's a third one. <laughs> right. Now, I, I've gone last slow. I sort of lost it a little bit there. <laughs> no, nodded off. Right. Um, so, yeah, Carol's asked me to come in and show you. This is our... Um, 12 days of Christmas, uh, yeah. already, oh, I'm so sorry, and it's, it's uh, old habits die hard, don't we? Okay, so I mustn't turn it around. Uh, so we've got on the first day of Christmas, so that comes in the set, and then you've got the 12 little um, um, embosses, they're all joined together, I'll show you how to do that now. Um, I, I, when I first made these, we, we put them on a, a cake, because cookies weren't really in then, and... Um, but now they are, and so we've decided to push them for the, um, or show you, not push them, show you uh, how to use them. So I've got a few sh sets to show you, um, different ideas as we go along. But for this one, the first thing you yeah, need to do, that. I'm just going to put that to one side. What it is, and I don't think you see it under the lights there, but I am using your um, colours and they're amazing under the electric light like, at home we've passed them and, and they, yeah. they're just twinkling they look so Which pretty really nice. especially that swan's catching me eye. Um, right so i'll put it there so this is the set and you get um the 12 little squares now we've put them we've kept them together rather than um, twist them separately and you lose one and etc etc so we've got 12 patterns on there and you also get this little um, um on the first day of christmas my true love said to me I think it was it. anyway and on the insert that comes in with it um, there is a little picture so that if you do get them muddled up you haven't got to go through the whole thing thinking oh what happens on the 12th Who's, who comes in on the 10th so it's there just follow the uh, the pattern that you have on there the, uh, the layout so the first thing to do is make cut a little square and this is going to be for the cookie so you, you would make that square and that's the size of your cookie that you would need. Now I've already made some here. This part I'm going to show you later on when I do the uh, Christmas greetings because it works the same way. So I'll just put that to one side for now. Um, but this, this is, yeah, make yourself a little um, um, square. Now if you want to make it out of plastic, you know, a, a butter or margarine lid or something Have like that, and then you can keep it. Sticker? Sorry? Have you used like a little post-it sticker there? I have, yeah. yeah. But you can, you can. I mean, you can use, you can use anything. Yeah. But if you want it to sort of last, then I would use the plastic. So I've already cut out and baked my little cookies here. But if you've got a square cutter, then great. You know, use that if you've got yeah. a square cutter that size. But they have spread. Well, we do slightly. sell the PME cutter set, square cutter set sets, and I think they've got several sizes. Oh well, if you've got that, that's got set, it, yeah. They've got six squares. Don't ask me the size, will you? Just before you crack on, I yes. just need to say, if anybody missed this afternoon's live, we actually did an impromptu live to give Rob practice 
on their filming tonight so that he could have a little go of going solo. We did think Terry was in to help him and then it was only as we were just before we were going live we realised Terry wasn't in until later. So God bless him. He had to go through it all by himself. Yes. So just to let you know that Rob is on camera tonight. Hi Rob. Hi. <laughs> You won't be hearing talking so much because he's still shy, but I'm sure in a couple of months he'll be with us. Um, but he is doing the filming tonight. Terry's going to come in and have a quick peep at him, check he's okay. But I, he did a grand job this afternoon. And um, and now he will be waving at Marion. To slow down. To Can slow you imagine? Down. I feel so sorry for you being with me for the, <laughs> like, the second time that you've filmed. Because I am I do tend to, to go like that, so I, I do tell me to, to slow down. I, I won't be offended. I won't take any notice, but I won't be offended. No. <laughs> right, so I'm using just sugar paste, and I'm not adding anything to it, because you don't want to have um, a firm paste on a cookie. You just want cookie, biscuit, however you want to, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I'm just using some sugar paste on there, and then I'm going to... Now, you could use icing sugar if you wanted to, or you can use Trex. Now, and those who know me from patchwork cutters, uh, when I'm cutting out small pieces, which I will be doing later, um, I do always work on Trex. So I'm not going to have icing sugar and Trex going on on the same board. I just keep it like that. And You don't need either on our pink boards. Well, no, it's habit. <laughs> It's habit. Just so I don't confuse I know. my custard's mar Marriott, Marriott. Sorry, <laughs> because it's a non-stick board, but I do like the icing to stick, you see, when, mm. when I'm working with patchwork cutters, and that's why I do use that. And also on my lovely grey board, yeah. which I just adore. Do you, uh, are you enjoying using oh, it? Oh, I, I use it all the time. I, this is my rolling pin I brought with me as well, <laughs> just in case you put it the other one away. Oh, yeah, make sure. Yeah, so... <laughs> so um, so you've got the, the pattern here, and well, I'll show you in a minute, you'll see it more clearly. I'm just going to put a little bit of Trex on here, although I'm not cutting out small pieces, so I'm only embossing, so you don't really need much Trex on there. As I say, it's habit. So I'm just going to press around the outside edge. I'm not cutting through. The icing maybe could have been a little bit thinner, but uh, there you go. And then just press over each of the little pictures, I'll call them pictures. So give a flick and I don't know if you can see that quite clearly. Now around each, down the side of each one, um, there's a row of little stitching so you haven't got to go around with stitch wheels or anything, that's already on there for you. And I like that idea because when, when I was looking at these before I said, oh I need to put my stitch up wheel on, she said no, it's in with the embosser, how yeah. cool is that? Already on, saves so all that messing. Now you could use um, you could use a um, pizza wheel if you wanted to to do that, but I like my big knife that I can just go down. And I'm so glad that the lines are there for me to follow because I have got very focal glasses, and anyone who has very focal glasses will know, especially if you work with your head on one side, things look straight until you put your head up that way. Why do um, you work with your head on one side? I always work with my head on one side and the tongue out. <laughs> A vision. A vision. Oh, again. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, I don't think I work with my head on one side. Oh, I do. I, or, I do. I tend, to, I tend to work like that. So when you go like that, it's, <laughs> things aren't straight. <laughs> I remember when I first, <laughs> when I first had very focal glasses, I, um, had them, I put them on and I went into the card shop next door to the opticians. And it was Pretty Christmas. Straight. It was Christmas. <laughs> And I picked up a card, and I thought, well, that's novel, isn't it? It's all been cut on an angle. <laughs> Until I put my head up straight, and it was... <laughs> oh, God. Right, oh, so, God, we've got these, so, you've got your little pictures here. <laughs> and so then, you would put them, you separate them out, you can leave them to just firm up for an hour. I'm only going to paint a few of these. You don't need to sit and watch me paint 12... Um, Why not? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd have, to, I'd have to speed up. <laughs> I'd have to speed up. And if I, uh, anyway, yeah, so I'm just putting that on there. Just maybe icing sugar would have been better and it wouldn't catch. Just make sure that you keep it nice square. And then, um, 
I'm looking for my favourite. Oh, now I will say, there's a, the, one of them, and you think, oh, it's just for Christmas, but this one is, is a, don't turn it around, is a little drum. So for a little boy's um, cake, then you could cut out these just in the sugar paste and put them all around the sides, you know, if you're making a little uh, drum for the top um, thing, the top of the cake. So you can use them, you know, some of them, um, all year round, obviously. Right, so I'll put that one there. I'll just paint. I'll they paint are so cute, three. these, aren't they? They are. So you've got, you've got the, uh, the, obviously, the, the five gold rings there, and um, swans are swimming, and... Lords are leaping. Oh, I'm getting good at this now. Oh, I was going to say, I, I think I'm going to have to get the song up. I'm going to start singing on you. Right. You just push those. Just bring that into a square. You could put it onto a sponge and then it would um, firm up. Right. Okay, I'll get rid of those now. Well, we've got a nice audience, Marion. 220 plus. Oh, it's fluctuated up and down. So good evening everybody. Just to remind you, everything that's been demoed tonight is on the Facebook Live wish list. Um, I've also put in some of the new products as well um, that's come into Sugar and Crumbs. And I've also put in the nozzles, which um, Claire used last night and I demoed this afternoon on our impromptu live with Rob. <laughs> Fine. You are busy. Okay, so I've now mixed, I'm using the... Um, the Wonder Dust, fabulous. I love them. They go on so smooth, really nice. And I'm mixing it with the isopropyl alcohol. So um, if, if you can't use alcohol, then use pure lemon extract. That's um, sort of a good alternative. Um, yeah, so it just dries really quickly. Can you just tell people why they should use that instead of normal alcohol? It's pure alcohol. It dries so quickly yeah. that you can have... Um, like two colours next to each other or even paint one on top of the other um, it's, it's instant dry so quickly that's that's what you yeah. want really because when and you use alcohol you get it, it gets cloggy and thick doesn't it it does and also um, I don't know when I'm painting um, I did this years and years and years ago if you mix the isopropyl alcohol with dust colour and have it quite watery and then you drop that colour into the embossed line it will run around the outside edge we did that about 10 years ago now, this is the one that it does, it works with. Um, it's the sugar flare. And some of the others, if you, if you smell it, and it smells of oranges or roses, it's had an oil added to it to make it smell nice, but it stops the, the running. So you, you want to have the, 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 the pure And alcohol. dipping solution is the same as that? Yes, it? it is, yeah. the dipping solution. So the corporate yeah. dipping solution or the sugar flare rejuvenator spirit. Yeah. So, uh, Marion always gives it his posh name, but it's called Rejuvenator Spirit. <laughs> I'm, because I'm posh. Uh, yeah, absolutely. But they'll all be looking on the website for our app. What's it Isopropyl called? alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an app, I can ah, say it, never mind. Now, it. now, the other thing about isopropyl alcohol is, and um, I know some people who used to come on my classes, when I, was at, when I had the classes, and uh, there's one lady who said, oh, I can, get, I can get massive amounts of that. Um, uh, from the chemist and you can but it's not food grade isopropyl alcohol is used um, in hospitals for muscle rub yeah. um, you know they, they use it not, but that is not food grade so it must stay on the bottle if you get a large bottle or a small bottle I like these small ones because you can um, top up from your big one um, into there but you do need to have a small one to drop into your lid I'm going all over the place there, sorry Rob. Yes. But you need that to drop into your lid. If you try and get your big one and squirt it into your lid, it just goes everywhere. Yeah. So do top up your yeah, yeah, small one. It off all over the place. So this 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 is drying. So I've got really make sure that you get your colour into your outline. It's no good just painting on the top. Now you're saying about Tracy before, she is a wonderful painter. She a uh, cocoa painter. All, yeah. all the painting is absolutely beautiful. So I'm not doing shading. I'm not doing anything too fancy here. No, she's I'm, very good with her painting, isn't she? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Beautiful stuff. Um, I'm just looking on there now. Oh, I'll use uh, that one. You can use any colour you like, really. I know what's going to happen there. I've got the lid off this. I got covered in this the first time I did it. Oh, popping the lid off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
but they're so good, they're so nice. They're pretty, aren't they? Oh. But they're, they're, so, they're selling really well, they go, everybody seems to like them. Oh, I should think so, they go on so smooth. Never seen a red, um, I maybe should have got um, an ivory colour in the, on the drum, but you can do it any colour you like really, can't you? It's your world. Right, so really get into that groove of the painting. I'll just do one or two of these. I don't want to get hung up on... Um, on painting, and do you find it therapeutic when you sit there just doing these? Because I'm quite keen to have a little go myself. Yeah, I do. I do. And I do need thing, something just to, to not calm me down. It sounds a little bit manic, but... Um, just just to sit down and, and paint these in, it's lovely. Not too long though, you know, you don't want to be too... Um, I don't like spending hours and hours on, on one thing, I like to move on to the next. Um. I meant to ask you about some kitchen roll. Uh, yes, I've got kitchen roll. <laughs> Did I dry it on the back of my hand? Yeah. <laughs> Not that I mind, I just thought, you know... <laughs> right, so I'll, I'll just do this one. Oh no, I haven't finished this one yet. Uh, so I'll get the, the, there's a lovely bronze as well. What's that one? Oh, copper. I'll do the drumsticks in copper. But yeah, this is the little one that um, I have used um, in one of our books on the side of a little boy's um, second birthday. And um, just place them all around the outside edge of the cake. Square cake paint those in. So you just need a fine brush for these. I am, I'm leaning over for water here. I'll just bring it a bit nearer. And then we've got uh, green. Now, I'm, I, I'm not sure what other colours you have, Carol, because I've got only... Loads of them. Hey? I've got loads of them. Have you? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to use this one because I it's haven't got the other one, but I will, I will have I a play with I should have got you the rest. I'll pop them all in the post here tomorrow. Okay, because... Um, if they're, as, if they're as nice to paint with as these, then... I don't know where Karen's put a little stash of their colours. She's sort of sorted herself out with a nice box to put them in. I don't know why I'm looking in the fridge. Are they up here, are they? Oh, there they are. Marin, you go for it, love. You've not had our blitzers either, have you? I haven't, no. Oh, wait till you no, see the last time I was over, I did the... Um, with Karen, I did the... Um, them day. Yeah. And uh, you said, try these, see what you think. And I've used them ever since. They are lovely. I'll just put, I'll put a few purple berries on there just to bring the colour down. And when you get sort of painting the small pieces like this, uh, just hold your brush upright. Because if you go at an angle, you're going to get the colour on the wrong side of your embossed line. Okay, so I haven't got to hold that up, have I? Or turn it round. But that one is finished there mm. and then I'll just quickly do one of these and then I'll go back and show you all the colours that I've used on the other side. Glue on this. Doesn't look like we've got the green ourselves. Well I'll have, have a we've little got an emerald green. If you can send it I'll have a little play. Yeah. Because um, as I say, I don't I only use them if I like them but I love these. Oh okay. it's an emerald gold. Oh that sounds nice. Okay, so this is the swan of swimming. Now you can either keep it white and go around like that, but I've done one on here. Oh, that's a, hang on, that's a, that's a duck laying, I don't know. <laughs> there, that one. So I've just done it different colours. I know it's a swan, swan of swimming, but I'm doing it different colours like that. So I will go in with the purple here. The one thing about it when you're painting uh, with the alcohol, you do, um, it does dry out really quickly, so you do have to keep topping it off all the time. And if you do a thin wash, then obviously you're going to get a nice pale colour. Uh, but if you want it stronger, then just put less alcohol in or let it evaporate away. So the whole board that I've done um, is... Um, using just this one set. So a fine brush. 
So the service that Marion is using tonight is her 12 days of Christmas. Her, she's going to use the cute Christmas characters on some of them. What's the name of the other one? Christmas Midi. Yeah, Christmas Midi, that's it. And the Christmas lettering. Yeah, and Christmas lettering. They're perfect for your advent calendars. Yeah. And then they're nice then, just to bag up in your treat bags. So you can bag them up individually and then give them out. Or, or if you want to give a, the last 12 days of Christmas to, or the, the, if you want to give the 12 days of Christmas to somebody, put them in um, individual treat bags, mm. tie them up and then give them away as to one person for all of them. I like the one that, that these and the others for, you know, like an afternoon tea. Yeah. You can have a, a tea or a coffee. I can't quite see it because the light's on there, but I'll just bring it. I think I will let me have a little bit more. There we are. There's a little flower in there. There's some leaves. We've got a darker green if you want to try that darker emerald green. Oh, I'll try it. Doesn't that. look green in there. Oh, it does it's green it? and gold. Oh. But it is quite nice. If oh you yeah. Leaves, you'll see the green. I'll do that one on those in a minute mm -hmm. because they're more um Fun. These are these are serious. <laughs> what I call serious in my world. Um, yeah, so I'll just do his wing. So it's really just choosing the colours that you like and then go for it. Just paint them in. And if you think, oh, I'll I'll give it another. Um, I'll give it another coat. Karen Nail has put a little thing on here for everyone. Um, 12 days of Christmas, 12 fab, fab gift vouchers, 11 wonder dust pots, 10 tunes <laughs> of gel pies, <laughs> 10 dusting brushes, 9 icing sugars, 8 nifty nozzles, 7 packs of fondant, 6 silver cake balls, 5 piping bags, 4 butter pats, <laughs> 3 fab moulds, 2 cupcake tins and a credit card in, in Hubby's name. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Right, a little bit of purpleness in there. So it does, I mean, it's one of those things that you just sit down and it's, I, ti I did time myself um, and it took, uh, I did get up and go to see to my grandchildren as well in the middle of it all, but it was 40 minutes to paint the whole lot. Um, yeah. So by the time I'd gone away and come back again, it was probably half an hour to, yeah. to just just to sit and paint. It's just so relaxing, isn't it? Just to do something like that, and then you've got a little. But yeah, if you get yourself set there. up with all your colours out. And your yeah, brushes. absolutely. Like, as you can see. <laughs> and the good thing is, you're not swapping brushes. You're just washing them in the water. Washing in the water. Yeah. Going back. I'm going back. Yes. Yeah, so I end up have... using loads of brushes, me. No, I need to do what you're doing. Just, just on. use one uh, for dusting. Yeah, I mean, I use loads of brushes. I've got hundreds of brushes for dusting different sizes and everything uh, right so then you would get your um cookie biscuit whatever you call it now what you stick it on with is entirely up to you i've got some buttercream here um, you could use uh, lemon curd even um all the ones on the board over there they've been stuck on with some glucose i had a tube of glucose in the cupboard and um i just squirted a little bit on spread it out and place them on with that so it's just nice and sweet when you that's it so a little bit of buttercream on there and then if you leave these for um, half an hour just to firm up a little bit but as I say there's nothing added in there to to firm that um, to firm that icing up oh I'm dying to trim that one down a bit that cookie now, if you, want, if you want a really easy shortbread biscuit, yeah. pop over to our recipe website, and uh, which is sugarandcrumbsmixingitup.com. You can get to it via the website. So go, if you want to go via sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, at the top it says recipes, click there. Or you can just Google the words sugar and crumbs recipes, and you'll get to our website. Mm -hmm. And then once you go in there, search easy shortbread biscuits. And uh, we've been scoffing them in here tonight, haven't we, Rob? Yeah. How many have you had tonight? I've only had one. Oh, you've only had one? Oh, well, I've had two. Very, very have you had one? Oh, no, I haven't, yeah. yeah. But um, I will be. I'm going to take some home and right. tomorrow. Yeah. Um, so Terry's eating them. So yeah. I asked Karen to make some today. And uh, not. Well, I don't know why. I wasn't thinking. Baron's brought her own. <laughs> I thought I was helping Baron well, out. <laughs> 
I just, I just, I only brought them because I, I needed to know that they were the right, you know, the right size. Having said that, they have spread a little bit. But does that look? It doesn't yeah, look bad. I mean, the fact that they they've spread a little yeah, bit. Yeah, but I um, think that looks nice. Though. Yeah, you can see what. And they I are, think they'd be very tasty with the biscuit and the sugar paste on it. Really nice. What do yes. you think of those ladies? Now, if I put that there, you can see. Have another look at the ones that I have already painted. So. That's the one I've just done now. Yeah. And I've gone over with the white, there was a white sparkle, isn't there? White yeah. sparkle. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, so I've just brushed that. Oh, snowstorm over. we've got, uh, Marion. Oh, I'm going to have oh, a big play. I can see it coming on. And look at this one behind you here, this one on here. This is oh, called our Magic Moon Dust. Oh, that's like, uh, was it with pearls? Yeah. yeah. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I am going to have a good play. Um, yeah, so that that's literally just painting. It's like painting by numbers, really, isn't it? Couldn't be easier. Um, just remember that like things like with the rings, use a fine brush and keep it upright when you're painting. So Can don't zoom in on that, Rob? Yeah. Don't go like that. Am I, do, do I need to move that in a little bit, Rob? Just one second. Just I want to just try and zoom in on that okay. a little bit. But if you if you if you're gonna paint, keep your brush upright like that so that yeah. you, you've got control. If you go at like yeah. that at an angle, you're gonna to touch the wrong side of the um, embossed circle or embossed um, figure that's on there. So it's, it's a really pretty one. As I say, I'll show you this little bit later when I do all the other um, lettering embossing. But it's so quick, but you haven't got to paint that one, it's, otherwise it'd be too fiddly. So I'm just going to put that to one side. Yeah. And that's the 12 days of Christmas. So what do you think of them, ladies? Do you like them? So Marion's done them so that you do them on sugar paste, and she's got another set here. These are your midi set, aren't they? This is Christmas midi, and you yeah. do get 12... Because a lot of people thought this was the 12 days of Christmas, but it's not, obviously, because it's, there's no swans are swimming on this one. Yeah. But you've got all the other little bits there. Paint it exactly the same. Um, I'll just quickly do this little thing here. Now, you can also um, cut these out, and I'm going to show you about cutting out patchwork cutters a bit later on. Um, because um, I know some people do have um, a problem with cutting out and I just want to show you the easiest way to do it so I'm going to do that a bit later on because I've got some other bits and bobs to show you before then now now I've coloured this in you'll see what I mean when I say about cutting out because you can see that area there <clears throat> excuse me is very narrow yeah now if you try and cut that out it I have to say it does sort of tend to come away there but if you've got your bow and you've got your thingy bob your, your, your bauble then you can just push things back together. The other bit that sticks um, are these little balls here. Yeah. But again, if you put plenty of treks in, I'll show you later, then... Um, but you, they're perfect for what you're doing here. For painting, yeah. absolutely, absolutely spot on. Very absolutely. Useful. And also, uh, what's nice about this set, whereas on the other set I used the drummer, uh, well, the drum, uh, for other things. You've got parcels, so that could be birthdays. You've got a little dove for weddings. You could have a, a little dove flying and a little garland um, of flowers coming out or something like that. So, okay, you can't really use a snowman any other time of year, but, um, you know, the, some of them always, always, yeah, yeah. <laughs> always look at them and yeah. see, well, what, what, what else can I uh, use them for? But aren't these lovely for your advent calendars? So these are your, so we've used, got the 12 Days of Christmas cutters. That's the other one. Then yeah. there's, the, these are the Christmas midi cutters. Midi, yeah. And then we're, we're going to show you the cute Christmas characters as well. Yeah. So even though they're cutters, Mary's using them as embossers today. Yeah. So um, so like she was trying to explain, if you wanted to cut out, you could. One or two, well, two of them, you might have a tiny little bit of problem. But um, it's only, it's just those two, the bow and the thing, isn't it? Yeah, I will cut one out later, yeah. to, just to show you. It's not a big problem. But if you're using just, them for just... embossers, they're great. Yeah. In fact, all Marianne's cutters are amazing. They can use, you can use them all for, to emboss, emboss and paint, um, because it is, like we do say on the thing, cutters embossers. And I'm going to show you some really good embossing in a minute. Special. So that's just painting that one in. And these are nice um, to emboss. You can get the kids to do these, because... How simple is that? Just embossing. Then use your little cutter that I used before to make the the, um, the cookies. Um, cut that out, and then they can paint them.
and it's just lovely working with the kids because you, you know you, you never know what you're going to get do you it depends how old they are of course <laughs> whether they eat, they eat the paste before they've, uh, they've actually painted yeah. it so that's, that's that's that little one there the other gold is absolutely stunning uh, this one i've used here deep rich gold that's it's absolutely lovely and there's another one there glowing oh no glowing bronze i don't know where the other gold is i probably left it out i've been using them today um, right okay so then again um, I've used the same cutter now these are the ones that I think would look would be really nice to have um, with coffee you know on, on a on a you've got a saucer or whatever and just pop these on with my buttercream there it is so just spread that on I won't be too mean with it but spread that on and then they just pop on like that yeah, lovely. and then um, oh, I'll show you those others in a minute got another idea but I'm jumping the gun I don't Sorry. need to stick all these on, do I? Well, you do, because we'll take photos of them. Of course, what? You're you going to take the photos? Oh, well, okay. you can give them me and I'll stick them on. Okay. Because we'll be having Rob take photos later. Okay. <laughs> it, well, it, yeah. Do you want me to do it? Yeah, go on. Well, they love them, anyhow. So what, what do you think so far, everyone? That's the painting in this. Right. Yeah. Right, so the other thing that you get in that pack, um, where is the pack here? Uh, these are all the little embossers, and you get two uh, flat cutters. You get one slightly smaller than the other, so that if you wanted to put them on a cake rather yeah. than a cookie. Is this your nameplate cutter? <coughs> is this your nameplate cutter? No, 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 this, is, this comes in with, with these. Oh, does so it? So you get oh, all that. You get all this pack, all these, that right. I've just painted in now. Not on the 12 days of Christmas in the other one. And then you get these two plaques. I'll show you what to do with those. So I'm going to use a little bit of flour paste for this. So these, these are not going on cookies, they're going on the cake. These will go on top of the cake. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Just take a little bit more. I love these little ones. Yeah, really pretty, yeah. They are pretty, and, and um, just to make that sort of coffee morning a they're bit special. Nicer, they're actually nicer in the flesh. Yeah. Than seeing them on a photograph, I don't think you see the details well on a photograph. No, I know the the photographs were done a few years ago now. You know, right? So I'm using a little bit of flour paste on here. Now, I've already cut out that size plaque, okay? Now, this one is slightly sh smaller, if I just put, uh, it's ever so, so, ever so slightly smaller. Okay, so just take that off. Just going to push that in. Now, with patchwork cutters, sometimes... If, you, if your board has got a slight pattern on it or something like that, or you've got a little bit of feathering, then just put a little bit of Trex on your paintbrush and then rub that, just go around it like that, and that will take in any fine feathering that you might have. And then I'm going to, you, you'd leave those to dry, okay? Can I just, oh, it's all right. Yeah, do you want this? No, no, it's all right. No, have no, 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 more, no, no. Have no, you got no. any more round ones or someone's cough gels? <laughs> I haven't known. How many have you got there? I'm missing two. Six, eight, ten, twelve. You've got thirteen there. I must have done I've two. Got thirteen. Two or eight. Oh, we haven't got two balls the same. Yeah. Mm. Uh, right. So the one I've just done then, you've got the choice of you can either put a cut out one, which I'm going to show you later, or you can emboss it like so. I'll just use the little candy stick, candy cane on there. Now I'm going to get a plastic bag so I don't make a mess everywhere. You can use a piece of laminated paper for this or you can use um, just a plastic bag and it can stick, stick on there fine. And that's the other reason why I, I use treks because then things don't slip and slide about while I'm working on them. I'm just going to put that there. I'm going to put that there. Right. So using, move all that out of the way. Um, I'll use the gold actually because I do love this gold. Is the lid dry? Not quite, no. 
Okay, I'll just go in on the side here. So I'm just going to bring a little, you can use any colour you like, but I'm just going to bring a little of the gold. Pat Esper's on. She says she's been using your patchwork cutters for about 20 years. She has. And she, she has. That's why I met, first met her at your place, I think. Yeah. Um, and she still uses them all the time. Quite a lot of ladies have been collecting off you for years. Yeah, we go. Uh, we, we used to go over to um, Pat's, didn't we, Pat, to um, demonstrate them. Did you walk from Pat's house, did you? No. It's a, uh, she used to hire someone, I think. Right. It was somebody she knew, and it was... Um, place we used to go to anyway and do some dance. That's a nice effect. So it's just bringing it from the outside yeah, edge in. That looks lovely. So rather than the inside out yeah. because then you'd get the bulk of the colour. But yeah. um, what I'm going to do with this. I like that idea. Is, is I'm, I would paint this. I'm not going to bother painting it now but you see. But that can go on there and so you get just a hint of the uh, gold like or red or whatever oh, just make like sure that they're pushed in but you can also and that's this is what we've done on the picture on the cake if that's left to dry and painted then you can put four little balls of icing and so then that would be raised oh, right. so it just makes it a little bit more interesting yeah. but it's just it's just playing around with them really you could just emboss that plaque and yeah. put that 12 of those on top of your cake yeah. or as i say um, just moisten it with water. I never use glue. Uh, I always use just with water, and then place that in position. Mm -hmm. So that they could go on a square cake. You could you could put them around the sides of your square cake, or just put the twelve uh, flat on top of your cake. So it would actually look nice going and, on the side of your well, cake. Well, it go, it would match your cookies. Yeah. So you could have your, your Christmas cake and then your cookies mm -hmm. to match. So that that's uh, like that or idea. even little mini cakes, you know. Anyway. I like that and everybody else likes that. Good, I'm going to move that away. But yeah. I'm going to hang on to these because I'm going to show you something else now using these. So the cutters that Marion used, Susan, the cutters that Marion used for the round biscuit, but you can use them on square, don't have to be on round, is the um, midi set. So it's the Christmas midi set. So you can use them on round or square. And, and both sets you can use on round. Oh no, the uh, 12 Days of Christmas is on square, isn't it? Um, well... Yeah, but if you if you if you cut them out and paint them quite quickly, you could put them round the side of the cake, or as I say, just just on the top. I'm just going to move this because I'm still going to use the same set, but I'm going to do this cocoa embossing. Mm. Now, my friend, lovely friend over in Bulgaria, Petya Shmarova, never know how to say pronounce it. I don't know if she's going to watch. So uh, sorry, she's watching, yeah. Uh, yeah. And um, she, she did this for us absolutely uh, years ago because she used to help us on our stand. She used to be a guest demonstrator on our stand at the NEC. And so this particular year, she said, I'm going to do uh, cocoa embossing. Oh, that sounds good. I've never heard of that. And I was so impressed. We did um, a little um, leaflet to go inside um, a kit of the things. So she made like a, a gingerbread house with this cocoa embossing and so we met, had a leaflet made and we put them inside now and or we give them out with orders so that you can see but I thought it'd be nice for you to see how to do this because it's so quick and I think I think you'll like it so I'm going to use the same set that I have just used now now I'm um I won't do that one because it's covered in cocoa and I should wash it really so what I do now when Petya does it she has quite um, a lot of cocoa powder on a plate and she dips these in and gets quite a lot of cocoa on I'm just messy I think I just get, get it everywhere <laughs> hang on I'm, the first thing I need to do is actually um, I've got some oh, is it still in the fridge hang on fridge please that's fridge that's a fridge I brought my my dough with me <laughs> my, my cookie dough I meant to take that out earlier, but never mind. I'm just going to cut this out. Now, everybody has their favourite recipe, and you've got some good recipes, haven't you, for non-spread? Yeah. We have a really easy one, yeah. and, uh, and that doesn't spread. Right. So. I mean, there's, there's quite a few of them out there. I, this, this particular one... And it has a nice snap as well. It does it, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's the kind I like. Well, Rob's just tasted one tonight. What do you think? It was really nice. Yeah. This and he's not saying that because it's week one. 
<laughs> and he wants he wants to be out of spa. <laughs> yeah. No, he only lasted a week. He disappeared after that. Because of where he, he didn't like the cookies, that way. <laughs> Never to be seen again. Right, so I'm rolling this out. Now it's entirely up to you how thick or thin you like your cookies, your biscuits, whatever. This one is cinnamon. I put some cinnamon in this one. You smell it. Um, right, so where did I put me a little? Oh, there it is there. So I'm going to cut out a few of these. And the thing is, don't get any flour or icing sugar or anything else on the top. You need that to be don't, you know, clear. Don't be putting loads of flour on your rolling pin or anything like that. Or if you've got a non-stick one, you won't need it. Right, so then I'm going to get this greaseproof paper, okay, and cocoa powder. I'm only going to use a little bit, just a, just a spoonful on there. And I'm just going to give it a little shake about. Hang on, get rid of that. That's it. I'm just going to press it down again. That just squashes it out a little bit. And then take take the little thing that you the little embosser, dip it in the cocoa and have a look at it. You can see there's cocoa on there. Go with it. Okay. And if they're in. And then keep doing it. You pop it pop it on. A light press, not too heavy. You're not trying to cut through. Take it off and you've got a nice. That. Right, so that's all that is. I was well impressed with this idea when she came in. <laughs> I didn't know she'd use cocoa butter. And I went, have you done that? Because I was powder. thinking she just embossed them, I'll emboss them yeah. put them out in the oven, and they browned up in there. <laughs> I was a bit like that as well. Was so it? it's that, it, yeah, it's that, it's, a, it's that, I never really got that, it, and then Petra. Actually, would, would it be in the oven, and they just sort of like crisp it up and gone brown? No, but Petra does this, not just for Christmas. She does. A, she did, she made loads of look, uh, lovely cookies for her friends. I think it was a wedding or it might have been a party, and um, she used our wild rose. I was going to say, I think it's leaves, great to use it with everything. everything. She made so many cookies, yeah. all embossed with flowers, of, you know, all our, our little blossom and leaf set. Um, it worked really well. well now, it's because you can see. Because otherwise, I struggle. You know, when you put the embosser, not yeah. just your embosser, any embosser, when you yeah. press it into the white sugar base, yeah, you just. Can't see, but I suppose you have yeah. to be a bit careful on the colour, though, don't you? Yeah, yeah. But what you do now, um, say like with Petra, she does use a lot more cocoa than I do. But if then she she'll give it a little tap like that. Hang on, a little knife, and she go. That sort of gets rid of any bits. But say something like the tree here, it's got little baubles on. If you get cocoa stuck in there, I found the best thing to do just give it a little little press, not too much. I find the best thing to do, if you, if you do get a blob of, of cocoa powder, don't try and remove it at this stage. What you do um, is bake them and then you can have a little bit of dough left and just dab over any part that you want to remove and it will just take it off. It's, it's so easy to that's remove so any, little, any little mistake. Idea. They all think that's a brilliant idea. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, it's, I mean... You can just keep you can just keep tapping that cocoa powder out. So there's quite a bit in there. Can you see in that bell yeah. there? So if you give a little tap, that should come out. Petra taps it so nicely. I already go twang. <laughs> <laughs> see, it's gone. Well, I, have those, say, those, I, love, I have to say, I love that idea, and so does everybody else. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. I hope. I hope. You see, that's all you need, and then you can have. Um, those a, a plate full for, for people to have with their coffee or whatever. It's not too much. It's not too. It's not a huge cookie. That's fine. There's no. I'm just checking. There's nothing really stuck and in there. And then just a question: Did yeah. you dip the co the cutter in Trex no, first? No. Before you stuck it in the cocoa butter. No. Pan? No. There's nothing. It's just the cutter and the cocoa. That's it. That's all right. it is. So you've got twelve different Nick little packs. Nick there. Time is being naughty. He said, no, she licked it. 
Has he watched my games before? <laughs> or she? <laughs> right, so the, so you would then lift those, pla place them on your, um, oh, on your uh, cooking tray. I'll just put them on there for now, out of the way. I'm not going to do all 12. You've seen them on the other thing. So that, this is the same set as those little round ones that I painted earlier. But then you can also use them on mince pies now my mince pies are a bit up and down oh, here i do apologize guys because i'm sure you've got some fantastic mince pie makers there um but they're a little bit wob wibbly wobbly but same I thing mince pies are meant to be wibbly wobbly aren't yeah they? <laughs> maybe i should have put Shows more filling in but, <laughs> yeah <laughs> but if you roll out your cookie dough exactly the same or your, your, your pastry um and emboss them exactly the same cut out your mince pie lid pop them on and bake them. So that's done exactly the same as for the cookies. Right, now the other thing I've got to show you is, oh, I've got a plate full of them here. Debbie was saying this is a nice way to make easy wedding favours as well. Yes, mm. yeah, it's a cool, Lovely. yeah. It is a good way actually, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Right, I'm not gonna do any more of that, but I'll just show you some that I have already made. Um, so these are, I'm going to come on to in a moment. These are more for kids. So you've got the serious, what I call the serious ones for Christmas. And then this is our. Um, Could you spin them right? I'll move that out of the way. Is that better? Could you spin them oh. out of the way? Oh. <laughs> so everybody is now like this in front of us. <laughs> <laughs> Standing my hand saying, put them the right way up. <laughs> So that's the cute she Christmas. It for, for years. It's only, no. our, it's only in our kitchen that we have the camera set up so you don't have to turn anything. So when yeah. you get tutors in, they're so used to doing it with everybody yeah. else, having to turn everything. Yeah. Uh, we have to keep reminding them all. Yeah, I know. Pull it down. Move it around. <laughs> right, so I'm just moving all this coke out of the way. So you can see on here that the cute Christmas characters, so they're great for um, kiddies' cookies if they want there's a little bit there that maybe I should have tapped out and I don't know if that will lift now because um, they have been made a while but no but what you do is take a piece of dough and then just tap that in and it would take out well, it doesn't look that bad yeah. um, it would take out any excess like that. that you have on there right oh, so great. I'm going to cut these out later out of paste to show you how to use patchwork and this is the cute Christmas set cutters. isn't it this is the cute Christmas characters. Yeah, cute Christmas and on characters. And the, on the pack, when I do cut them out, uh, have you? It, yes. it's, it shows you on the, there, on the cake. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm learning. <laughs> on, the, on the side of the cake, I've got them coming down on the little uh, parachute, so I'll show you how to make a quick yeah. parachute as well. Um, so these are the ones that you cut out and paint. Pardon. They love there. the idea for mince pies. I think that's really quite nice for the mince pies. Yeah. And uh, no, they love it all, they're doing well. Cool. Now this one, this plate full here. Susan Monk says, Flip neck, I'm going to be busy making cookies, mince pies, I better give up work. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I've, I've just quickly dipped these into chocolate just to make them a little bit more um, uh, tasty, really. So, um, melted chocolate, oh, dip them in, and, oh. and just oh, clever girl. dip them in. You're clever making your own chocolate shortbreads. Yeah, a bit rough, but hey-ho, might need two coats on that. But exactly the same um, as the ones that are painted on there and embossed on the, on those on these cookies here. Right, so that's that bit. Now I'm going to show you our... Um, Christmas greeting set, okay? As everything shot off. I'm waiting for a to click. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> yeah, so there's a, there's a few sets here. So um, I put them all on the wish list. So tonight's wish list, go to our website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. Go along the top bar if you're on a computer or an Ooh. iPad, and it says Facebook Live wish list. If you're looking on your phone, just drop down to, in the, go, to go down to the free tier cake, press the free tier cake and um, you'll see Effie Live Wishlist at the bottom. Drop into November and in November is Marian. and it says Advent Cutters with uh, Advent Calendar with Patchwork Cutters. And all Marian's stuff is there. The Wonder Dust is in there as well. Um, I didn't put any pink boards or rolling pins in, but you know, you all, you all know them anyhow. 
and, um, I, and I forgot to put rejuvenator in, but I can add all those if you want me to. Um, and I would say, I would add to that, and I'm not just saying this, that you have got the last of the 12 yes, days of Christmas. We um, we, so don't order them from me. I haven't got any. <laughs> Not for a couple of a few weeks yet. So this is this is it. This and is I've got the last of your cute Christmas characters as well. You have, that. you have. Although they should be coming in quite quickly yeah. now. And did I get your middies as well? You did. You've got the middies, yeah. Yeah. So all the all the cutters, I I got yeah. them off Marion. Yeah. So that you can have them. Yeah. But they are that that one particular is is that one is. Yeah. Um, very, well, it's out, out of stock on our end anyway. Yeah. Right, so this one, um, I'll just clear that up a little bit, get the cocoa off. They like shopping the sugar and crumbs, anyhow. Yeah. We like you shopping the sugar and crumbs. Yeah. Got to pay the wages. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to take this colour off here, this cocoa, off the board. Oh, so you know how to clean the board as well, then? You've been paying attention to what Karen's telling you. Did you find I've, always, I've always cleaned this out. Oh, uh, right. My green board I've yeah. u- used forever. Yeah. This is how yeah, you, you clean it, yeah. them. Yeah. Well, we clean it with Trex and clean it with olive oil and um, with vegetable oil as well. Oh, so right. No, I just, just go with Trex. So you bring Trex yeah. brings anything yeah. off anything, doesn't it? Right, so. So have you abandoned your green board now? You've got a green one. I have. I know, it's mad, isn't it? I've actually I, used I it for cutting out. I had a green board. <laughs> yeah. I had a green board for years, and then I thought, no, I want the grey and the pink one. So well, I, I give Simon my green board. I, I Well, I gave mine to uh, my grandchildren, uh, yeah. Jacob and Emily, and they, they have them out, and they do all sorts on yeah. there. So. Uh, right, so um, this, is, this is the one that comes, this one, what I'm going to do now, is the one that comes in with the 12 Days of Christmas, but it's the same technique. For any of them, now you can see this big Noel here. Where have I cut, put the cutters? Oh, there they are. Now I am going to cut this out as well, but I've embossed and painted it with this lovely gold. It's the um, it's darker one than that. I've got bright gold, and what's the other? Oh, there. And that's the deep rich gold that I've used with alcohol. That's lovely, all I've done. It? Yes, lovely, yeah. Lovely. But you can. Uh, I'll show you about embossing first, and then I'll just cut those out because I've done this one with um, when I cut it out and I put it down I, I call them half cakes I make a 10 inch square cake cut it in half so you've got two nice long pieces of cake not two cakes in one there and so I put uh, when I cut them out I put N-O-E-L and then little some of our little flower fairies around them so it looks as though they're carrying them mm-hmm. um, so it's just a nice way this one again makes a nice cookie that one that could go on top of a cookie let it snow or it can just stand up in front of a um, um, the side, on the side of a cake right so what I do when I'm embossing I'm just going to slide them off because I don't want to make a mess on this one uh, I use a makeup sponge now I use one of these because they're very very close texture um, I used to use the washing up um, sponges you know the yellow ones but they're quite they have got quite um open texture to them quite large holes so this is nice and soft and i'm going to take some tracks you don't need massive amounts but you what you do need is a dark color a strong color so i'm going to use the ruby rose what i like about these as well these colors um the, the name is on the side and when you get the name on the top and you, and you get the wrong lid, go yeah. on. Yeah. And sometimes it says, um, you know, if I've been do, demonstrating, to say, what colour's that? Yeah. And it's obviously a green You've done dust. That in here, not done that And it's like, it's got pink something or other on the top, on the lid. And you, oh, right, okay. But you can see I'm putting quite a bit of colour in this. Quite a bit of dust. Put that to one side. I know, I... I um... Oh, oh, hang on. I'm just going to hygienically blow on this. We'll be like, oh, I made a mess now. I'll wipe that off in a minute. So you mix that to a paste. As I say, use a strong colour. I did a, a pale green on that one, Seasons Greetings. I don't know if you can see I it. I what you've done. Have you just done that in buttercream? No, Trex. Trex? Just Trex. Doesn't it show up the colour, the metallic colour? Yeah. I used to, well, I yeah, it do does. And, and you can, I mean, I mean, this is where, if Tracy's watching, I do apologise, Tracy, 
But <laughs> I used to put all this on the back of my hand yeah. in different colours. The heat of my hand would melt it. <laughs> and then I'd paint from that. <laughs> But it never sets. I always look as though I had a terrible bruise on the back of my hand. But it doesn't set like the cocoa painting that does set. And, and so um, there is a slight difference in Yeah, there. but do you know what I'm pleased with this? But that the metallic, the really metallic look, it still shows through, doesn't fab, it? Yeah. Isn't that fab, that? Yeah. Mm. So, I'm just, so you spread this on. Now when you're going to emboss, spread it really work it. I've done far too much. But you can always put that into a little plastic container and keep it but you work that on you don't don't do that where you've got lots of thick um, color you, you really need to take that off again if you like right and then would help if I rolled a piece of paste out this this it can be flour paste or it can just be a piece of sugar paste it's entirely up to you what you use so I'm just going to roll that out. Now when you're going to emboss this, you do need to make sure that you haven't got ridges. You're not doing this and, and you have ridges because then it's not going to emboss um, cleanly. You're going to have uh, deep and shallow grooves on it. So just smooth that off. And you can always use your smoother. If you haven't got one, use the back of your hand. <laughs> the heel of your hand. <laughs> right, and then you've got your Merry Christmas. I'll choose all these. Star with Royal Beauty Bright, Merry Christmas, Wishing You Peace at Christmas, Season's Greetings, Another Season's Greetings, Christmas Wishes, Let It Snow. Well, there is another one somewhere as well. Um, I don't know where it is. So I'm just tapping that colour on there. Okay. Now, if I had um, too much colour on that, what would be happening? Um, that would go up the sides of the um, cutter and so when you emboss you get that splodge all the way around yeah. so all you do don't press hard you just tap it on press down lightly all the way along and then lift it off oh i missed me merry never never re never return it on Like that. That was that was lucky. It was lucky. Because <laughs> you don't normally do that. You usually scrunch it up and do another one. Um, but always emboss first and then cut round it because you're putting yourself under pressure. If you cut out the strip and then try and emboss into that st strip straight, so it's easier to actually emboss it and then cut round it. The other thing you can do then um, is put those on cookies. So you could have a whole box full. Of, I'll put that one to one side, I've got a mess on there. But you could have a whole box full of cookies with different greetings on, and so people would just take the greetings. If you're not very hungry, you'd have a Noel. Yeah. If you're absolutely starving, like that, you'd it's have no the other Noel. <laughs> <laughs> that would be my Noel, that one. <laughs> yeah, and mine. Right, so you can cut round it, and then um, just use the... You can, you can leave it plain, or just use the end, cut, curl the ends up a little bit, just a bit thick. If, if you use flour paste, then I would have rolled it much thinner than that, but embossed exactly the same way. But just say it's having to go along with a fine um, brush. It on says the letter set is out of stock, so I just need to check first if that's correct. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Rob on comments. So, as well, so Lucky now Rob. Rob, this is it, you're going for it now, Rob. You're He's not multitasking, are you? <laughs> <laughs> He's now going to do uh, cameras and this, so the letter set, it's the Christmas letter set, isn't it? It's the Christmas greetings. Christmas greetings. If you're putting it in on the website, it must say Christmas greetings. Exactly. Yeah. I did, right. I, you have had them, so yeah. um, you did might you just... send them on last one, you did, you? I did, yeah. Right, yeah. Right, so, just going back to the Noel, um, I'm going to cut this, the, oh, that's got a life of its own. I've got a question for you. Oh, good, okay. Um, Linda has asked, yeah. does the tret not make it taste fatty? No, it doesn't. It's sort of, no, it doesn't call it, it's, a, it's sort of absorbed into the um, paste, but I've, with all the treks uh, I use on them, um, no, it, I've never had that 
um, husband, or even commented, you know, people have eaten things and the taste, taste tracksy, uh, then no. Right, so I'm just going to, this is flour paste now, just something a little bit firmer than the sugar paste. The sugar paste to go on cookies is nice and soft, but the, the flour paste is firmer. And I'm, I am still going to use my treps um, because I don't want it to lift. That's the whole point with patchwork cutters. When you're cutting out, your paste needs to stay on the board. It needs to stick on your board so that you can take all the bits away that you don't want. And, and it's left down there and you scoop it up and you've got it. You don't want to be having it stuck in your cutter. And certainly um, uh, then having to pick, pick it out with... Um, a cocktail stick or anything like that so I'm just rolling this nice and thin I'm doing it in white paste you could use a colored paste obviously and um, when I'm coloring paste sometimes I use um, uh, gel colors and sometimes I use dust colors so it depends uh, you know what, what I'm what I want to uh, well what colors I've got to hand really what I'm aiming for so if I then, instead of embossing this into that, oh, into that, that was sugar paste, um, into the sugar paste, the flour paste, um, you can then separate the letters out. So I'm putting, because I'm using it now as a cutter, not an embosser, I'm trexing up. So I've got trex just off, off the camera there. I'm trex, trexing up and I'm going to put that on there press firmly so whereas if I just wanted it for a, a, a one piece sugar paste to go on a cookie or, a, or, a, or even on the cake right so then you can pull away the spare paste I've got a question again yeah um, could you put some of the flavoured shots into the sugar paste do you know, I'm, I can't say yes because I've never done that. Um, I do sometimes roll out the sugar paste on flavoured icing sugar um, and that will give a lighter, a light uh, flavour. But I, I haven't actually added to the shots to it. Um, it might make it a little bit softer, but um, it's no good me saying yes when I haven't tried it. So, no. Right. I'm just looking for a cocktail stick, so you know what, I'll just take it with my knife because it's quite a big piece. And I'm sure Karen, uh, Karen will have some somewhere, but I wouldn't even know. It's all right, Rob, I'm not going to ask you to go and find me a cocktail stick. <laughs> but you just pull that out like so. And then I'm going to pop that onto... Um, Thought you'd only got me one then. <laughs> Pop these onto a, a, a bag, ready to colour. So you can, you could leave them to dry. You could stand them up then if you wanted to. Oh, like right, so let's put that back in. Always keep your flour paste covered because it does dry out really quickly. I'll just pop that back. And I'm going to stick that onto a plastic bag for colouring. That's the one I used before, so I'll put it back on there. Okay, so let's pop that on. Just make sure the O is uh, in a nice shape. So you could brush over with the gold so you'd get that sort of effect but on the cut out ones. Or if you wanted to do half and half colouring, then I'm going to use um I'll use some of I'll do this pink. What is it? Oh purple. Right and back, we're in stock now. Oh good. Good. Right, so I'm just going to colour this. Did you speak up? Did. Did you? A of times. Oh my hey, goodness. I've, I've had questions and everything. Uh, 
So um, we haven't got Simon or Terry on tonight. Terry was going to be on, but we threw Robin on the deep end. And then he did so well this afternoon. We told Terry we didn't need her. Stuck Robin again. <laughs> And Terry was going to come in and uh, help him out, but she's been a sneaky watch of you. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing a good job, isn't he? He is. Right, so what I'm doing, I'm brushing the dust colour dry. I'm not painting it now. Uh, this one I painted because I, if I tried to brush that dry, then you would get colour all over the place. Just go with Although I'm not going to use this and it did crack when I picked it up. Um, I'm Donna, just wiping that off. Donna, do you know what? I meant to, I meant to be showing you. For the flavour shots, you can use it to flavour your sugar paste. Oh, can you? Yes. Oh, right. No, so, I hadn't tried it, so I didn't like so, to say yes. Um, she said, I wonder if you can use flavour shots in melted treks. Wait for it to harden and then flavour treks to condition your sugar paste. I wouldn't, I wouldn't waste your time doing that, but flavour your sugar paste... Now, for 500 grams of sugar paste, um, I would I would use half a packet of Flavor Shop, at least half a packet. But you know what? It's a sort of trial and test. Some people yeah. have already done it, like Shelley off um, Shelley off um, the Terry or Orange page. She just put a little bit on, and and um, she used the um, strawberry milkshake, and she just put a little bit into her sugar paste, and she really liked it. She says she doesn't eat sugar paste, but she couldn't actually stop eating it. Oh, right. Yeah, so she sent me a message about that, which I thought was quite nice. So it doesn't alter the consistency of the icing no, or anything? No, because it's powder, so it's fine. Oh, is it? Yeah, the shots are. Oh, right. Yeah, you see, I, I, that's why I couldn't answer the question. Have you because... not had any shots? No. Should we sent you some of them as well? I would have used them. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so you can now do flavoured sugar paste. Now, to be fair, I don't know oh, why yeah. I didn't think about it. Because Shelley told me, and the thing is, we've sent our flavourings to have sugar paste flavoured and made for us. The only reason we did, you know, do you remember when we did the strawberry um, sugar paste with Select Island? Well, that's all we did. We sent the flavouring to them, which is the shops, and um, they, they did the strawberry milkshake for us. But, um, you know, I would play around with it to see what you would like taste-wise. So I would start off with I don't know half a packet of flavor shot and then um, and then mold it, knead it in, and then just just leave it for a little while and let it. Um, That's great, isn't infuse. it? I thought it was liquid. Why did I think it was liquid? No idea. Maybe because it was a shot. Do you think? Yeah. yeah. I've got alcohol on my mind, haven't I? Yeah. I love how you've done that. So um, so I don't even know why I didn't think about telling you all to do that. When Shelley told me, I thought. I, said, I actually said to her, I said, yeah, I know that. And then I thought, I bet she thinks I'm, I'm lying. <laughs> but I did know it because that's how we made our strawberry milkshake um, right. sugar paste. Right. So, yeah, okay. give it a go. I'm going to be doing it. You'll need to remind me. I'm going to be doing it when I use the um, Blossom Sugar Art Cutters. Do you know that we bought Blossom Sugar Art Cutters? I believe so, yeah. yeah. Great. That's great. Um... I don't know where to put this. I now. love those two tone colours, Marianne. It's, it's, it's nice because yeah. you can do them uh, red at the base. Yeah. And then, so the white looks as though, if you go a bit higher with the red, it looks yeah. like um, the snow's fallen on the top. Yeah. So it, it, you can go over the white sparkle there, um, over lovely. the top of them. So. And which green did you use there then? Um, it was your. Um, oh. Have you just used that emerald green then? I've, no, I haven't no. yet. I can't spell. I don't know, are you going backwards there? <laughs> I thought when you started with the L, it's I thought, Leon. she's not going to have enough, have enough space. I know. So, uh, I should do it around the right way, but but you, you're going to, you, so you could leave it to dry, and then you can stand them up around, around there, you can put them down the cake, as I say, with um, fairies or um, um, Doe um, has done some fantastic painting and um, yeah, Cupcake Griffin board. uses she, them, she? She's she does. watching tonight, don't Is she? And yeah. she, she has done some she wonderful... Does, she does, um, she Wonderful them. ones, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, um... As do, I mean, there's quite a few on your um, site that do all these yeah. things. But do certainly uh, put some lovely ones out there. Right. Yeah, a few people tonight didn't realise they could flavour their sugar paste with the flavour shots. No. I do forget, I do, there's a few other things I need to tell you, like you can put it direct straight into your cake batter as well. 
So if you didn't oh, want right. to use flavoured icing sugar, yeah. you could just use your normal caster sugar and then use some of the shot in it as well in your cake mix. Oh, but again, yeah. it's a trial and error thing. You need yeah. to decide. You need to make it and then decide whether you like it and whether you look. Some people want to go stronger. It's like with the icing sugars. Some people love them full strength. Some people like them half strength. Yeah. I think I can cope at half strength. I'm always surprised when people say, "No, I just use a couple of tablespoons." I think, hmm, not really yeah. weak, but. Everybody has different taste buds, don't they? Yeah, they do. Right, so that's so, so that's, that's the that, Mary. that's the uh, oh, yeah. the lettering, and then I just want to show you about cutting out these cute Christmas characters and making a a thing with Bob, and then that's what I say. Really. And Nikki King said she did two hundred and fifty grams with a little bit of Trex, and just added in the shot a bit at a time until she liked the flavour. That's the way to do it, really. And then weigh what you've got left, and that will know how much you've used. Oh, that's clever. Isn't it? Yeah. Right, piece of them. And you can use it to flavour your modelling paste, your gum paste. Oh, but you don't really eat the gum paste. But if you wanted it to smell nice. Just clear it Right, so, have you got any round um, cutters? Round cutters? You know, like, have you? You've yeah. got the PME, what, what, yeah, whatever. The ones in the tin, the 19 set ones are. But just to open that cupboard there. Now, ladies, we still can't get these yet. They've been told it's going to be December. Oh, yeah. right, okay. So, do you remember when the, um, that ship got yeah, yeah. the Suez Canal? Yeah. Well, all PME stuff was on it. Oh, God. So, they've been having a nightmare getting stuck oh. in. So uh, these cutters go for fun, so I'm waiting for my man. Right. So he told me it was going to be August, then he's told me September, then July, then November, and now we're going for December. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright. Right. So I'm going to colour this. I'll, I'll do um, some of the dust colour into that. I'm just going to make this little umbrella first, so that you can see... Them all. So, so could you use the stamping method mm. on royal icing cookies? No. No. No, because um, a if you stamp them while the royal icing is soft, the, it will stick to your cutter. Yeah, and if you stamp them when the royal icing is dried, you'll crack them. Yeah. There you go. So, no, you can't. It's it's into sugar paste yeah. or into into uh, dough. Yeah. I know that answer that. I thought I'd answer with you. I, I, I wish. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to. No. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to clear this through. So Sue Sherwood said she's never watched you before, Marion. Mm -hmm. And even though she's bought several patchwork cutters over the last few months, mm -hmm. she hasn't tried them yet, <laughs> but she's really impressed with all... Fab. She's not finished off the thing with all that she's. Well, I assume she's really impressed with what you're doing tonight. She's not finished off the sentence. Oh, cool. Well, Carol, can you put the shots in? So, Linda Gribble says, Carol, can you put the shots in garnish? In garnish. What, like in mm. tomatoes or something? Radishes. <laughs> <laughs> no good asking me. <laughs> right, I'm cutting out as this is to make a little umbrella, a parachute for the. Uh, this doesn't mark your board, Carol. Honestly. No, it doesn't. No, I know. That's all right. Oh, she's finished off the senses now. Different things that you do. She's really impressed with the different things. Oh that you do. right, okay. Good. Yeah. Ganache. Oh. Right, garnish. I thought that was a new one. <laughs> right, ganache. Yes, you can. <laughs> you can. Yes, you can. So, yeah, yeah, um, so, right. <laughs> so I'm just using that to, to take the, the little circles out. So the, the full circle, cut it in half, take those out. And then if I had a cocktail stick, which I haven't. Do you, have you got any here? Yes, they're in the cupboard down there. Oh. There you go. It's behind you, another silver tin. Behind you. Silver tin. In front of you. That one. Oh, cool. Behind you, in front of you. I know. In the silver tin. Like a pantomime. <laughs> So ganache, who's that peeing her pants? Donna, Donna Jeffrey is peeing her pants. 
Happy Fricker says she probably means ga ganache. And Linda Gribble says, sorry, can't spell. But well, I'm glad because I was really worried about that. Well, I'm <laughs> glad because I think you were going to start trying to put it in tomatoes at one point then. <laughs> And if you watch Karen, and Karen adds it to the chopper, so she usually adds about between 10 to 12 and a half grams to 500 grams of chocolate. So then, so I would, I would do that, add it to your chocolate, and then when you add your cream and everything else, I would think that would be enough, especially with the chocolate, especially with the coffee and the mint flavour. You might find some of the other flavours, you might have to add a little bit more. Right, so I've done this part here. Now you've got the choice. You can either put a little pointy cone on the top, a long stick with a curve, and make a little umbrella. So it could be the, the, the characters I'm going to cut out next. Um, it could be standing under an umbrella with snow falling around him, or without that bit, and then you just mark off the lines. You can put the character there, which mm -hmm. I'll do. You've got a little parachute. Oh, Donna Jeffrey says, it's so lovely to have Karen McFarlane back. She does make us laugh. But with all my dumb mistakes, <laughs> as I <laughs> And Mandy Harvey says, she just adds a bit at a time until she likes the flavour to her ganache, because she flavours her ganache as well. Oh, right. I think it has got to be trial and error. And yeah. some of the flavours are stronger than others, so... Um, you know, like the white chocolate and raspberry is quite a strong flavour as well. Right, so with this one, I'm going to put the, I'll just brush round with this, uh, dry. Wouldn't it be nice to make white yeah. chocolate lemon drizzle? Taking that off over. Yeah. So just brush a little of the dry dust. So I've, I've coloured the paste with some of the, the dust and then with the same uh, dust. I'm going to to just dry dust it round. You just pass me that the pink outside colour. Edge colour. So you coloured that with the wonder dust, did you? This. Yeah. 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 No, the colour's lovely. Yeah. That one. Yeah. Uh, purple. purple. Haze. Is it purple haze? Purple haze. Yeah. Yeah. They're all lovely. It's lovely, and amazingly, you can see sparkle in it as well, can't you? Yeah. It's not. It's it's subtle. Yeah, it's not um, bling bling. It's when when you when you walk past things and you and yeah. you, you get that sheen. That I'm just shimmer. wiggling the paste here, and then you can see the little sparkle. Oh right, well. yeah, yeah, right. Mm, so you I'm just dust that. around the outside like that. So I've got my little uh, parachute on there, and then I'm going to cut out some of the figures from the cute Christmas. Look, uh, uh, this is one of my favourite sets. This the cute Christmas characters. Oh boy. So Annette Lawson, thank you very much for the compliment. You look lovely, Carol. Love your tan, it makes you look really well. I feel it really does, well. yeah, you do, do look you know well. I had a really good rest. I go on holiday and I don't really rest. I end up working texting me. quite a lot. <laughs> hey? Texting you. <laughs> don't tell them all our secrets, Mary. <laughs> so, I end up usually constantly working and taking two or three hours out to rest but I've got to be honest on this holiday I really did rest oh, that's good. I still took my big 27 inch computer with me and I did my work every morning and every night oh, and yeah. I drove the girls in the office not <laughs> so I was looking at all the info questions neither of them and I realised then I need to bog off because they were getting fed up with me <laughs> 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 yeah, she yeah. just put up, Karen. I'm messaging us. I was doing them, doing them nothing. So um, yeah, but it was really nice for John and I just to have some time together. Oh yeah. We should have gone with Wesley and the kids, but Jasmine's passport didn't turn up. Oh. So they've gone to Centre Parks. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Right. So I'm just going to cut out. So where I've embossed into the cookies before for the children's cookies let's see where is he like that one okay so now I'm going to cut it out and I'm going to put it on a little plaque so press round so, the flick that's one I have used on the cooker <laughs> <laughs> uh, I should have perhaps left it where it was but never mind 
I'm going to paint it brown. So, anyway. how did I manage to take a computer that big with me? Well, I actually have a very a, a special computer case. So my children never know what to buy me. And as I said, over the years, they've had to buy me food mixers or they buy me perfume. And then one year, I found a big i a big iMac uh, suitcase. So they bought me that and I've used it and it's been battered to death that it's actually had its last journey to Tenerife. It now needs to go in the bin. Oh. I know. So this Christmas I'm going to be asking them for a new one. And then I just booked it on as an extra suitcase. But it was funny though because we had to pay £63 to take it there and back yeah. and then I bust the zip before mm. I left. And then when I got home, I bust the other zip. And then John went to go and get some uh, gaffer tape to wrap around it to protect it. And in the shop, they charged him a tenner, a tenner for a roll of gaffer tape. And it only went round once, so he had to buy two rolls. Mm. So, well, I'm truly ripped off. Right, so I'm just lifting these over onto my dusting. Oh, Linda Miles. I've got my reindeer charm with my order today. He's lovely. So talking about charms, I have to tell you, it's been brought to my attention that we've run out of charms on Tuesday. So uh, Tuesday of this week, I think. So if you don't get charms, I'm really very, very sorry. And you've just reminded me I need to order some, but they'll take a couple of weeks to come. Then I need to spend two nights on a Friday and Saturday sat there bagging them all. So I have got the 2022 charms in stock, but we don't want to start using them until December. So it looks like nobody's going to get any charms now for the rest of November. I am sorry. But loads of you have got loads of them anyhow. What are you going to do with them all? Right, so I'm using alcohol with the, um, this, this one. The, the white sparkle, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, I'm going to add a touch of. Are we out of stock of Christmas crackers? Uh, Christmas crackers, Christmas characters. To be fair, what I what I had in stock is all we had. Let me just go and check. I definitely put those in stock because I took all Marion's stock off of the Christmas you did. characters. Didn't we I? have got yeah, you did. We have got these coming in. Um, Christmas probably, characters. Yeah, tomorrow. Oh, right, okay. So I can... So do you want me to... Can I pop some in stock then? Because you can send yeah, them Yeah, yeah, I'll get them to you. I'll get them right, away I'll to you tomorrow. I'm going to pop some more Christmas um, characters in. The cute Christmas characters, because uh, Marianne said you can get those. Yeah. And, um, good. All right, then. Let me go and get some of them, ladies. Okay. So, so um, I'm going to use... Oh, just do the brown to go around him. Um, I'll have to do a bronzy colour. I wonder if I could mix some bronze with... I thought I brought brown with me, but I haven't, so I'll mix some bronze with um, a little of the white, maybe. Don't tell Carol I'm mixing on her board. We'll just keep that quiet. Let's just see. Oh, yeah, that's fine. So I'm just brushing over. So this is going on dry. Um, okay, we'll go over there and then add a little more just to make it darker, do his feet darker and his antlers. I did call these feelers once, I think I was thinking of butterflies at the time. Right. And then, because I'm going to paint in this very small area here, the ears, um, I, well, I want colour, I want pink colour to go in there. So um, I need to paint it; otherwise, it will just go everywhere. That's the purple. I've got a really nice. Oh, there it is. Really nice pink. Um, so again, if you're painting, use your. Um, good job you can't see this table. Okay, it's a mess. <laughs> um, Use your alcohol for painting. A little tiny bit. Right, they're in stock. Fab. Okay. So, ladies, the cute Christmas characters are back in stock. 
Your order probably won't get dispatched till Monday though, because Marion will have to get them in, ship them out to me, yeah. and I'll get them out on Monday or Tuesday. Yeah. And then um, the Christmas greetings are in stock. 12 days of Christmas, I've checked, they're in stock, and the middies are in stock. So you've got loads of things to use for all your Christmas decorations. Are you doing cocoa bus painting as well? No. Oh, right, okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm painting with alcohol and I'm right, dusting and it made a mess on your board. Isn't that cute? That? That's all right. So that one. I love that. I, I love this set. I just, yeah. I, it's so, and, and especially with embossing on the cookies, I think it just, it's, um, nice. it's just a nice use for, you know, you can do a cake, you can do your cookies to match, give them a nice pink scarf. Donna Jeffrey says the Rudolph is adorable. So when you buy the Very set, cute. save the bags. So keep them in your bags and keep the piece of um, paper that you get with the instructor with their pictures on. Keep that in your bag because that has a picture of all the bits in it, doesn't it? And I'm going to get yeah. Marion to show you this gingerbread embossing set that she's put together, which is three sets in one. Yeah. She's not going to make it tonight. No. But she'll talk you through it. Yeah. Well, because you're going to want this. This is how to make a gingerbread house. Yeah. It's again. It's Petcher's, um she made the, she made that gingerbread house for our stand yeah. when we had the um, when we did the NEC a few years ago now. But I hope you're going to love this set. So this is on the website as well. So um, you're back in a few weeks, aren't you? I am. And what are you doing? Are you doing the owl cake or are you doing the gingerbread house? No, I'm not doing the gingerbread house. I'm doing, doing a cake like that. Yeah. We're going to go for it. And it's it's for Christmas. I'm doing it for Christmas. But you can. If, if anyone um, saw us at the show years ago, it was a very, very tall owl cake. It was quite fun to do. And it was a daytime scene. It was a wedding, actually. Mr. and Mrs. Owl on the top. And all the owls were the guests. And the little owls were messing about and uh, thinking they were bats and all stuff like that. Um, but I thought it would be really nice to do this. Because everyone said, how did you do your cake? So I'll show you how to do that tall cake. And then there's a big moon on the top with Santa flying across on, as a silhouette using our Santa snowman set. So that's the one I thought I'd show you. Yeah, no, I think you should. Because, as I say, you can, it, it, it's, a, it's a fun one to do for Christmas. You can get all the family involved. And um, if you want to do it uh, sort of in the year, later in the year as a... As a the other thing is they don't cake. have to do yeah. three tiers of cake. You could do one tier of cake and two dummies, couldn't they? There's loads of alternatives. But if, if you've got the owl set and you've got quite a big... Well, if you've got quite a, quite a few people coming for Christmas and you'd like to give them all a cake to take home, this is the one to make. It's great fun. And all the kids can make an owl and it, everybody can get involved and it's really, it's really uh, good fun. Yeah. Well, I have to say, this brochure on here is really good. I'm going to have a go at this. I'm going to show them how to make this. I've decided. And do you know what? She's done the cookies on how I would have done them. See how you've done these 12 days of Christmas? She's done them on there. Yes, I know. And that's exactly how I would do them. But you, it's the same thing. But yeah. you need to just put your cookie dough on... Put your um, cocoa powder on there. Yeah. Emboss it as I did. Yeah. And then cut them up and bake them. Yeah. So instead of emboss it, instead of doing it on icing... You emboss it onto cookie dough and then cut them up and bake them. Just exactly the same as yeah. what I've done with those cookies. Right, well, when Marion's done, I'm going to get her to show you this gingerbread embossing set. I will. I've nearly done this now. And then I think we'll have a go at making this, ladies, next week. In fact, I've got Kim Firth in the kitchen. Me and her can do it as our project next week. Right, it's quite a nice, it's like a honey yeah. biscuit as well. Is the it? recipe that's in there. Well, I've got Kim Firth in for three days and she always likes oh, to keep fine. her busy. Yeah. <laughs> she what? She always likes to keep busy. Hey? Okay. She likes to keep busy. I, well, I, I keep her, I don't let her go home. <laughs> <laughs> it is a joke that she is allowed to go home. She doesn't oh. want to go home. She moves in for four <laughs> days. <laughs> Five days and four nights. <laughs> she gets dragged everywhere by me. <laughs> I haven't got a board with me, so I'm just going to... You haven't got a board, have you? Which board? A long board. A, a uh, silver board. 
Just so that I'll show you, put this together. Do you want, want a big one, Mike? No, 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 a car. You know, one of those. That one. Yeah. Oh, well, you've got one. Oh, I'm not sure. Maybe lost on there. No, this is fine, honestly. Got smaller ones. Don't know that's fine. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, just do smaller strings on the, uh, on the parachute. So on the cake, that's come, uh, the picture that comes with this one, uh, they're all flying down the side of the cake. I just use my little knife, I can't find these. <laughs> I'm going to be damaged with it. Oh, John and Joffrey, why do you say that? I absolutely love sugar and crumbs. Why, what have I just done to deserve that? That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, crowd. So, Helen Williams, stop bragging. I received my second orders this week, both with charms. Sorry, there's plenty of you who aren't going to get charms because we um, have run out and I didn't know we'd run out until today because I was on holiday. The girls didn't tell me. And when I went into the office today, that's when they happened to mention it. So I am going to order some more, all right? And then when they do come in, I'll let you know and then if I owe anybody a charm, just put it on your order and say we owe you a charm. Put your next one in. I don't mind. Uh, Carol, can you tell me when the large shoe chocolate mould is in? It's on its way. So I'm just waiting for it. It's been dispatched, so I'm just waiting for it to arrive. I'd probably say in a couple of weeks. What sugar paste are you using, Marianne? She's using Select Island. Yeah. Oh, and a bit of Renshaw you're using. That. You're, you're a using Renshaw Renshaw. Flour paste. Yeah. Yeah. Renshaw flour paste. And uh, on the boards, sugar air uh, select diamond. So I put the parachute on there. You can stick it on with water, but because this is soft and that's soft, it's stuck. Um, and I, 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 I did a, a halfway down, like a little hole, and then made the lines come down to the hole. Now they can be painted, they can be just left like that, or you can use a little, uh, once this is dried, you could use your little uh, black food pen just to colour that in. And then um, just use a little water now, just to. to Stick that on it, but you will stick anyway. Uh, so now you've just got to make sure that when you're colouring, and I haven't done this on this one, uh, just make sure that the colour has gone all the way um, around the cut edge as well. You don't want to have colour on the top and then like a white outline, if you like. So just make sure that's all on there. I could just do with a touch of black in his eyes for a little eyeball, but you can see on there how that's going to go and so he is just coming down for his you uh, so any of them you've got gingerbread men and that one um, it's great cut out dusted painted and then you can um, put that all the way around the side of the cake you can put it on a cookie but you can you can pipe your lines down and have lots of different heights for your little gingerbread man uh, this is the uh, snowman that I've cut out there, so he can he could be on a parachute as well. Um, you've got the uh, little penguin with his her little headphones on. Again, just paint them in and just have them all. You've got that picture there. The very first time I met you was at the show at the NEC many years ago. Do you remember? Yeah. And I come tromping up to your stand and say, would you like to go and do a Facebook Live? Mm. And what it was, the first thing that attracted me is you had a cake up with the parachutes on and a um, the little... These. Yeah. Yeah. These so cute. Bit, yeah. Loved it. Yeah. Yeah. That was going back a bit. Um, and then this is the little Robin and he's got his little... His, I've got that cocoa powder in his eyes there from when I was doing the cocoa paint um, embossing. But that's, um, yeah, he's got his little Christmas hat. So you can have a, a good selection. Have you got that? Have you got that one there, Carol? The, the, the picture? Is this uh, which one? Chris, Chris, cute, cute Christmas doodads. Yes, Christmas thingies. Yes. Yeah. I'll just show it again. So, and in the pack, you also get, thanks, look, um, these. And so you've got two little uh, circles. So you've got all your little snowballs. Uh, there, so you could put a pile of snowballs. You could have the snowman at the bottom with a pile of snowballs next to him. But I don't know if you can see that cake side. But they're all different coloured um, uh, parachutes, like I've done there. And it's nice if you put them on, put the figures a little bit 
wonky, not just straight, so that you can see there the little snowman's a little lopsided. Um, just makes it more fun and it's a nice little cake. Uh, around the bottom there, it's just um, sugar paste. Do a wobbly line before you put it around the cake. And then uh, this mat, this one actually, uh, the white sparkle goes lovely on the uh, the white sugar paste. So you just either wet it, or, well, I wouldn't really wet it, but you can rub um, treks on where you want it to stick and then just sprinkle that on. Um, yeah. So uh, unless we've got any questions, I think that is me done yeah i um, always tell them about this um gingerbread embossing set so if they're buying your cutters oh, they may yeah. well throw, um, this, this, show may throw this in your basket because we're going to use it next week right let me just move that up there okay so this is the set um, and this is the um by petcha so I, I would have a look on her facebook actually because she has she does do these fabulous embossing like this as i say with all our flowers and stuff um, it's not just for um, so Christmas. I'm, I'm going to have a go at making this next week. So this one, roll out your dough like I did for yeah. those cookies. Um, tap your thingamabob, your cutter, yeah. into your cocoa on your yeah. sheet. Put it on your dough, take it off, cut it into the squares. Yeah. Just as I've done there. So you get your recipe. And then it shows you, to on here... Um, she's embossed exactly the same way a selection of um, the snowflakes so you've got those there a good selection and again they all cut out so you, you could use them on anything um, uh, where are we yeah so and then you also get a brickwork embosser so she shows you there about embossing um, exactly the same way the brickwork and then you get the snowman and the tree embossed exactly the same and then when she puts it up now there's a pattern on the back and you see there i'll turn that over um, so she's painted some she's cut that in out in icing and iced them this one she's just pet pipe boil icing around the outside edge and then she's gone Can to town stop you Marion? so i didn't icing. have a picture to put on the website mm. so i am just going to i don't know if i enabled the product so i'm just going to leg it in there now again right third trip of the night right. and enable the product but it won't have a picture because i needed them i need to wait for it to for them to take a picture when they come in there later right okay a minute I haven't got a clue what she's talking about you. <laughs> no, I put the product on the website, but I don't know if I enabled it. Oh, I was, right. I was saying they can't see it. You see, I'm a bit deaf, and I thought you said, I haven't named it. No, enabled it, because they're saying they can't see it, so I think I forgot to do it. Okay. And there isn't an image, it's which not, I'm going to get. I can't hear you. I'm going to do it in a minute. Okay, all right. So, <laughs> so, there's, so all we've done, because you can make it whatever size... Um, how she wants there's a picture yeah so you can uh, obviously you're not going to make a house that size so you can enlarge it on a photocopier and cut it out to scale and have it as whatever size you want so this is what she's done and she's cut out a little door and she's cut out a hole for the uh, window little thing you cut her there and this one she's actually iced the tree green and painted all the little baubles um, on the picture here, she's uh, this one. She's done brush embroidery, so it's you pipe your line along the embossed line there of, of uh, royal icing, and brush it upwards. Next pipe line, brush it upwards. So she's she's done quite a, f a few different things on there, um, but yeah, I, um, nice little recipe on there, and you can see the the, the brickwork embosser, which is this. She has put the cocoa powder on, tapped the excess off, embossed it, and done exactly the same, embossed it, embossed it, until you get the size that you want. So it's just all really the um, cocoa embossing, which I think um, is uh, a, a great little uh, idea for, for quick cookies. I think it's really good. Um, yep, yeah, so you get that leaflet. We are sending this out at the moment um, with every order that we have, but not for much longer because uh, they are sort of limited now we, we're keeping them just for this these sets um yeah so i'm going to put those to one side you can see here um this one if you're cutting these out uh, this very very tiny one 
you do need to um, get your paste really thin when you cut it out. Should I, should I show you that now while we're waiting for Carol to come back? So I'll just twist that one off the frame. So if anybody gets this one, you, you might get a Trexy cut off. <laughs> Sorry, it'll be the one I'm using now. So, let me show you. Oh. See, you've just put a few little clouds around that, couldn't you? It'd look, it'd mm. look uh, really cute coming down with the clouds. Uh, back on a, maybe on a blue background, yeah. But ice the board blue, and or ice your cake blue, and then uh, clouds around that. So you definitely need flower paste when you're working with patchwork cutters. As a cutter, only uh, use the flower paste. Don't use uh, just ordinary sugar paste. That is way too soft, and it will just stick in your cutter. It will be a nightmare. So don't use even with. Um, uh, Tylo or gum tragicanth added to it, it's not enough to make it f firm enough to roll it so thin. So get a good quality um, a flower paste. And I do like the Renshaw flower paste. Um, there's quite a few out there actually that work. And if you find one that works for you, don't change it just because I'm saying that's the one I use. If you've got one that you like and it works well for you, then that's the one that you're going to use. Now, where did I put my rolling pin? in all this mess. It's a good job you can't see all this mess. Where is it? Down this way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, so roll out and roll it really thin. And that's the thing with patchwork cutters. You roll it, roll it thin, and don't lift it up and down. That's why I do still put treks on the board, although Karen, uh, uh, Carol says that it's a non-stick board, which it is. I want it to be a stick board. I want this paste to stick on the board, not into the cutter. So roll it, especially the smaller the cutter, the more dainty it is, and so the more um, uh, thinner the paste and the more treks you use. So you can see on this one here, I know some people do actually get that paste in there but I just find this this is much easier and really fill that that um, cutter with Trex and then press firmly and flick away oh it's going to lift and then you can just use your cocktail stick I'm just going to pop that down a minute to pop should I do another one yeah, it's a bit silly that one Right. I've just put the, I've just put the product back on. I think what I've done is when I was putting some stuff on the website, I've done an overwritten it. Right. So you can see that's better. That one. That one didn't cut there. That one. Uh, it just lifted. So you just use your cocktail stick. Sorry, Carol. What did you say? Right. <laughs> I'm having a, 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 a. I'm just doing a little snowflake that's in that set. Um in the pack yeah but you rolled that very thin haven't you yeah it has to be thin because it's such a small cutter this is if you want to cut them out but if you're going to do the the, the cocoa embossing then obviously uh, you just dip that on your cocoa pop it onto whatever it is you want to pop it onto now if I get rid of that then you can that's really, that's really thin. Or well, we do leave it there to dry for a bit to harden up. No, no, no. You just you can scoop it up, and um, you can dip it into. Do you have sparkles or? Yeah, yeah. Here's my new sparkles, Marion. Is that white? No. Do you want the white one? A white you want, you want that magical moon dust one? That's what you want. Oh right, okay. Well, we've got we've got a snowstorm there, which is beautiful. Right, okay. But what you want is. You I mean, want I have is. to say that this one is nice embossed. Even, uh, I mean, picking out there is a bit fiddly. But even if you go round, thank you. Um, even if you go round. Uh, Seriously, no. See that one? Is that? Oh, that's it, in yeah. there. Oh yeah. Is that's that, what. That's that, what. That's I, no, that one. Lovely, isn't it? Gold, gold sheet. Okay. No, but look. Yeah. Look at it. Like different mother, ways. like mother of pearl. Yeah. Isn't it? it says it's beautiful, but I want to do this one just to be awkward. <laughs> well, I, I I would do one. Well, of you these. do what you want then. I am. <laughs> I am. So, 
Right. I was doing so, one of each, but it's no good repeating. Right, so I'm going to... So ladies, I've put it on the website, the uh, gingerbread one. I'm going to use it next week. So it's three sets in one, and it's called gingerbread... I've just called it gingerbread embosser, embosser set. Is that what you call it, Marion? I thought I'd put it on the website before. I did, and then I overwritten it. Yeah, in gingerbread embossing set. Yeah. And then what I've done is, John was my other omitted air. I thought I'd saved it, and then I've gone and overwritten it. Oh, that does look nice with that colour, It looks beautiful. It? It's, it's snow, isn't it? It just looks like snow. Just lift that up. Wow, look at that. And then you've got your little snowflake. Oh, yeah. beautiful and sparkly. But it does take a little bit of picking out and your paste has to be Super really thin. thin. Almost see-through. But even on, even on something like this, let me just have a look and see. Don't forget to be under the camera, Marion. Oh, sorry. That lovely snow, that's a lovely snowflake you just kicked off over there. Go and stick him on the side, on there. There's a lot of hard work there. Yeah. And <laughs> you just, you just uh, haven't kicked him off. <laughs> I've been like, what? Right, so this is the last thing now. So, so um, I'm just going to, oh, I'll take a bit on there. I will wash your board, honestly. So, what we've got here. So, we've got Sandra Marshall. I am new to this website and I am really enjoying all the ideas and seeing how to use the products. Thank you. You're very welcome and you've already had people saying hello to you. We're a really very friend friendly bunch here, aren't yeah, we, Marianne? Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. all the ladies here, you know, they come and watch us Mondays, Mondays, Thursdays, um, Wednesdays we're doing. In fact, whenever we come live, they don't want to watch us. We did an impromptu yeah. one and ended up with a hundred and... I don't know, I think about 176 today. Wow. And uh, we only gave them about 15 minutes notice, fifteen minutes to half an hour's notice, which was brilliant. Fantastic. So um, don't be shy. It's nice that you've commented because they are a nice bunch. They like to chat as well. You get to know all their business. And helpful. Uh, but they're all very helpful. Yeah. They're and nice. they're all very kind as well. Yeah. Yes, it's Snowstorm at um, Sue Sherwood that um, see that? just used. Yeah. So you can see that? I like that. It is, it's lovely. So, so even it's just... easier to emboss. Oh, it is. Yeah. It is. But if you want that sort of raised effect... Yeah. But uh, it is much easier to emboss and paint. It's entirely up to you then. The one um, in that one is definitely uh, the largest. That's a definite emboss because it, it took me a long time to cover a cake in those. But that's the largest one. But Which all of the them... the largest one? Um, on the, that, yeah. that one. Oh, yeah. Very detailed. But beautiful. Um, if you just emboss it, if you try and pick it out, it's a it's a lot of picking. Yeah. But that one just embossed and painted with this. I mean, this yeah. is gorgeous. Can I just try this other one as well? Yeah. Oh, sugar. Of course you can. I told you to try one first. Yeah, I know, but I, I, I just wanted to see what the white one was like. <laughs> Stop it. Right. Oh, look at that. Oh, right. Believe me now. Hey. <laughs> you believe me now. <laughs> Beautiful. It's, it has got a definite golden oh, tinge yeah, so when you're that. painting. Yeah. Yeah, I'll paint this one. Oh, it's lovely. Hang on. Which one is it now? Uh, that one. That magical, one. magical moon dust. Just nice to try these things yeah. because you don't always have time. Well, I don't when I'm, when I'm racing around. Um, so the snowflake cutters is in the gingerbread set. Yeah. So they're not separate. They're actually in the gingerbread, gingerbread set. set. So you get three sets in the gingerbread set. You get the brick um, cutter, you get the mm -hmm. snowflakes and stars, and you get the large snowman and Christmas tree. And, of course, the brick cutter is great for chimney pots yes, with your absolutely. Santa's feet. Yeah. Right, that's that one. So, look at that. When you, ca when you get the light on that, Yeah. How look at the shine on it. It's just Lovely, beautiful, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it. Good. Love it. Right, so that is me. Done. Done, done, done. Done, yeah, done, well done. done. Well done, everybody. Right, well done, Marion. Are you glad to be back in the kitchen? I am. I wouldn't think I about am, Robbie's done a good job tonight, hasn't he? <laughs> He's done a fantastic job. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. Good. Yeah. Well, I hope you've all enjoyed having Marion in the kitchen. It's always great fun. I love oh. having banter with her. And her cutters are absolutely amazing. And just because they're called cutters, they're not 
for cutters you can use we can use them for cutting and embossing so don't forget that um so you know tracy man has showed you loads of things for embossing oh, around beautiful. your boards marion's yeah. been here she's done some beautiful work with embossers that big moth orchid that you did on a board once oh, for us was yes. lovely and a big rose yeah. and all sorts of lovely things to make your board really very pretty um so you know so when you're looking at them don't just think cutter remember you can emboss with them as well yeah. and it's lovely that Marion's used the wonder dust because I know you've all invested in that which is brilliant as well and uh, get shopping ladies don't forget the nozzles they are on um, they are on pre-order and they are on free shipping if you add anything to that order it will all get dispatched together mid-December so I would order your nozzles separately and then anything you want from patchwork cutters or the wonder dust um, you know order them and you can get them out next week no charms left i'm afraid but uh, if when i do get charms back in if we owe you some just say on your orders but i'll let you know they won't be in for about three weeks by the time i bag them up <laughs> and just tell me how many i owe you <laughs> say what do i owe you and don't be joking me saying i owe you 50. <laughs> so um have a great Bye. night ladies have a great week thank you for joining us and uh thank you robert have you enjoyed yourself oh yes. that's your birthday name that robert is it rob or robert you prefer i prefer rob rob, rob. right oh that's nice isn't it yeah. so um have right. you enjoyed your first two lives yeah it was really good yeah very, very good fun. good and yeah. have you enjoyed coming back i have i thoroughly enjoyed myself yes. fantastic thank that's you. what we like and um, we'll be seeing marianne again is it the 11th of december 9th of december Yep, we'll be seeing yeah. her again on the 9th of December uh, where she's going to make that fantastic cake for you which you're going to love. And what set is that if it's they want to chuck it the, in the basket? Oh, really? owl, the owl set. So the owl set. Yeah. Have I got that in stock? Did you send it me yet? No, we haven't yet because we... No, I haven't. No. We were concentrating, we might, we were concentrating we have, on tonight. If you see the owl set there and there's some in, grab it. But if not, we'll yes. have it for the 9th anyhow. Do you want me to pop some in with the other tomorrow? With the other stuff, yeah. yeah. May as well. Okay. Okay. May as well. Good. All right then. See you soon. Cheerio. Bye. Mm -hmm.